What if I told you that if I were to rewind time and given the knowledge that I had, I would use this simple strategy that has yielded me an 80% win rate in any market conditions. This is the strategy that I still use till this day to take high probability trades. You can be somewhat interested in ICT trading, SMC trading, or even retail. But as a beginner, I personally would much rather use this strategy as it is a lot simpler to understand and it pays you to trade this strategy. This strategy is suitable for beginners and advanced traders alike. So everyone can make money with this. By the end of this strategy breakdown video, you'll be able to understand what a key level is, what ranges are, and most importantly, how to capitalize on breakout trades. I will show you the exact steps to implement this strategy as your own as a beginner so that you can achieve profitability in a short span of time. So if you're serious about being a profitable trader, start taking down notes and let's get to it. The first concept to understand is what support and resistances are. A support is where price has difficulty breaking below a key level. This is where price tends to reject multiple times, giving retail traders like you and me the idea to buy at a support. A resistance on the other hand is where price has difficulty breaking above a key level. This is where price tends to reject the break upwards multiple times, giving retail traders like you and me the idea to sell at a resistance. Sooner or later, these key levels, such as the support and resistances, will break. And when they break, a super interesting thing happens. Once the key levels are broken, they will switch roles and act the opposite of what they were. Now, let me explain what that means. Once price breaks the support with a move downwards, the support will turn into a resistance, which is an excellent place for price to continue downwards. Similarly, when price breaks above the resistance zone with a strong move upwards, the resistance will turn into a support for price to come back and retest before continuing the move higher. The next concept that I'm going to be talking about is market structure. This is where you will identify your trends in the market, whether you're bullish or bearish. A bullish market has the characteristics of higher highs and higher lows, constantly being put in the market to bring price higher. Whereas in a bearish trend, it has the characteristics of lower highs and lower lows, constantly being put in as well to bring price lower. Now, for high probability trade setups, what you want to do is to trade with the trend. Remember the phrase, the trend is your friend until it's not. So the next point that I want to go through is understanding what a breakout is. A breakout happens when price breaks through a zone with aggression, with force, with volume. This means that the institutional traders or the banks are showing their hand by telling you where the market wants to go. The question here is, how do we identify a breakout on the chart? Very simple. If price breaks through a zone with a body candle close. Now, what do I mean by that? If price breaks through a resistance zone, you want to see price bullishly close with a body candle close above the resistance zone. Likewise, when you see price breaks through a support, you want to see price close bearishly with a body candle close below the support. This way, it will tell you that the institutions wants to continue trending in the initial trend that you've identified earlier on. To add on as confluence, you need to know what an engulfing candle is and what they represent. They are candles that overshadow the previous candle. Let me explain. A bullish engulfing candle pattern forms when the size of the current bullish candle body is comparatively larger than the bearish candle body. This indicates high volume and shows that the bulls are stronger than the bears in the market. On the other hand, a bearish engulfing candle pattern forms when the current bearish candle body is comparatively larger than the previous bullish candle body. This means that there is currently high volume present in the market and it shows us that the bears are stronger than the bulls in the market. So whatever I've gone through will be used as confirmation and confluence for our strategy. Now, with the concepts out of the way, what are the exact steps to execute this 80% win rate breakout strategy? Pay close attention. The time frame that we are using for this specific strategy is either the one hour or the four hour time frame. So for step number one, start off by identifying 
following the current market trend that you are in. This can be denoted by the higher highs and higher lows formed during a bullish trend and the lower highs and lower lows formed during a bearish trend. It is important that we do this for the first step so we know what direction our trade is going to be. Either a buy in an uptrend or a sell in a downtrend. It's pretty simple. Step number two, identify a level of support or resistance that you're looking to trade out of. In an uptrend, you want to be looking for resistances and in a downtrend, you want to be looking for supports. The reason for doing this is because price tends to create a temporary barrier to stop price from just constantly dumping or pumping. This will be one of the most important criteria to look out for when using the strategy. Step number three, wait for price to break out of the zone that you've identified. For a bullish scenario, what you want to do is look for price to break upwards outside of the resistance zone. On the other hand, for the bearish scenario, what you want to do is look for price to break downwards outside of the support zone. Like I mentioned earlier on, this is where you will have the market showing its head, telling you its intentions that it wants to continue going in the direction of the trend that you have identified earlier on. Step number four, engulfing candles. This is where you will want to identify or look for engulfing candles during the breakout. If a bullish engulfing candle presents itself during the breakout towards the upside, you will have a valid setup to take buys. On the other hand, if a bearish engulfing candle is found during the breakout towards the downside, you have a valid setup to take for sales. Moving on to the last step, we have step number five, trade management. In every single trade that you take, you need to have an entry, stop loss, and take profit. In the bullish scenario, you want to place your stop loss below the engulfing pattern, and you want to place your take profit at a simple one is to two risk to reward ratio. Likewise, in a bearish scenario, you want to place your stop loss above the bearish engulfing pattern and target a simple one is to two risk to reward ratio. Now, you may ask, why one is to two risk to reward ratio? Why not one is to three? Why not one is to four? When you target a lower risk to reward ratio, you will have a higher chance of price hitting your full take profit, allowing you to get out of the trade with money in your pocket and calling it a day. You wouldn't have to hold through for a longer period of time to hit your full take profit. On top of that, a one is to two risk to reward ratio trade will result in a higher win rate compared to a 1 to 3 or a 1 to 4 risk to reward ratio. Now that you have the exact blueprint of how to execute this strategy, let's hop onto the charts to take a look at some live examples. Here on the one hour time frame on the pound US dollar, we can identify that price is creating higher highs and higher lows. This indicates that the trend is bullish. On top of that, price has recently broken through a resistance which has two touches. This can be seen with a body candle close above the resistance. Now, if we want to look for an entry, we must ensure that the entry criteria is present, which would be the bearish engulfing pattern. As you can see over here, price has formed a pin bar before a large bullish candle that engulfs the previous candle. This confirms our entry, so I can place a buy at the candle close with the stop loss below the bearish engulfing pattern. Now, my take profit will be targeted at a one is to two risk to reward ratio. Let's see how the trade would play out. And there we go, TP smash. On to the next example. Here on the one hour time frame on gold, we can see very clearly that price is in an uptrend with just one look at the chart. It is creating higher highs and higher lows. However, in the process, price has created a level of resistance with three taps into it. So what we have to do here is wait for price to break out of the resistance with a body candle close. Let's see. And of course, price decided to just break through like that. Now, the candle is huge. I know, but it doesn't really matter. We stick to the strategy. The next step here is to look for a bullish engulfing pattern once again. And as you can see, the current bullish candle engulfs the previous candle. This gives us the confirmation to take an entry at the body candle close with stop loss below the engulfing pattern and targeting a one is to two risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how this trade will play out. Now as you can see, price came into a little bit of drawdown, ranged a bit before finally pushing to our take profit. Let's go to the next example. Here on the one hour time frame on the USD Canadian dollar, price is in an obvious downtrend as seen in the lower highs and lower lows created. At the same time, we found a very juicy support that has been tested three times before. Now, the next step is to wait for price to close with a body candle closure below. And as you can see, this candle here broke below the support. However, the body candle didn't close below. It closed as the wick and closed inside of the support. This makes the breakout a false one. So what we need to do is wait for the next candle to play out. And this candle over here closed below with a body candle closure, which is perfect for our strategy criteria. Now, the last step here is going to be 
finding that bearish engulfing pattern. The body of the candle that broke out is larger than the bullish candle before. This means that the bearish engulfing pattern is present and therefore I can look for an entry at the close of the candle with stop loss above the pattern over here and target a simple one is to two risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how this trade plays out. And of course, TP hit. On to the last example. Here on the one hour chart of the USD Swiss franc pair, you can see that price has been extremely bearish and it's been creating lower highs and lower lows as seen in the charts over here. So what we'll be looking for is sells. Price has recently created a level of support with five touches, making this a valid support confluence to break in order to look for shots. So once price breaks out with a body candle close, I look at the candle before. And what do I see? I see a small candle being engulfed by the bearish candle, making this a valid confirmation entry to take a shot. What I will do here is I will enter at the body candle close of the bearish candle and place my stop loss above the bearish engulfing pattern. Now my take profit will be targeted at a 1 to 2 risk to our ratio. Now let's see how this trade plays out. And as you can see, price nearly stopped us out, but our SL protectors and dumps straight to our take profit. Easy. As you can see, this strategy works extremely well for beginners or advanced traders alike. So make sure that you backtest it and tweak it to your own trading style for the most optimal results. That wraps up exactly how to execute the 80% beginner friendly breakout strategy. Feel free to rewatch the video if you haven't yet understood the concept fully. We are constantly putting content out here to ensure that you guys stay up to date with the latest winning strategies so that you can grow as a trader. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And most importantly, click the link down below in our description box to join our free community of 33,000 traders worldwide. In our Telegram group, we give our free signals and analysis every single day. On top of that, we also give you a heads up on when we are going live twice a day on YouTube. So boys and girls, if you're serious about winning, I'll see you inside the Telegram group. Ciao.